For the first time, we're hearing from one of the victims who was shot by a fake gun at the AMC Theater in Creve Coeur. Five on your side's Megan Kernan joins us in the studio after sitting down with the man who chased the shooter out of the theater. Megan? Well, then last Saturday, a St. Anne man and his two sons were enjoying the new kids movie Inside Out 2 when a child took out a gel pellet gun and opened fire. The dad sprung into action, ran after the suspect, and is now being praised for helping lead to his arrest. There's about 10 minutes left in the movie. Some commotion started going on. I looked over and seen somebody with a mask on. Wallace Bell was enjoying movie night with his 12 year old and six year old sons when he noticed a young boy stand up at the front of the theater with a fake gun in hand. No sooner than three seconds of him having my attention, I'm getting shot. So I got shot about five times. Uh, my 12 year old got shot and then my six year old starts screaming. So he that's when he got shot in the face. I immediately knew that it was uh, a pellet gun because I got shot with it. Bell says the people behind him could only see a boy in a mask, not knowing if the gun was real or not. I just start climbing over people to get to the gunman and make him stop. Everybody was like balled up and pinned down because he was shooting. I think I was still getting hit as I was climbing over people. That's when Bell chased the shooter out of the theater. His brother tried to stop me. He's like, hey, wait, 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 this is my brother. I'm like, yeah, well, he shot my kid in the face. Get to the hallway. I look left, I look right. I can't find him. Five minutes pass by and suddenly he spots the boy and his brother. And I'm chasing them, I'm chasing them and they cross the highway. There's sirens going off. They could see the police and they ran directly into the direction of the police just to get away from the crazy man that was chasing them. Police arrested the child. He's since been released back to his parents. It took about two days for the mark to go away on my son on his face right here. He was terrified. He said he didn't want to go to the movie theater anymore. When he was asking questions like, well, if we go to the zoo, will this happen? If we go to the park, will he be there? Bell says the theater manager handed out free vouchers to patrons. He feels like they should have done more to protect them. Even after the situation, there wasn't a guard for me to talk to. There wasn't a guard searching bags. If you were just looking for candy, you would have found a mask and a Nerf gun. Creve Corps police tell us at least 20 people have filed complaints about the incident. Detectives are still asking for more people to come forward. With each complaint, the child could face a new charge, including assault, disturbing the peace, or making a terrorist threat. Megan.